Hey, it's Phoebe with Matt Behind the Camera and today we are in South Africa exploring beautiful Cape Town. is located on the southwest coast of South Africa on a peninsula beneath the stunning Table Mountain. Known as the mother city, it is famous for its beautiful harbour and spectacular natural landmarks. This is our second visit to Cape Town and as we learned the first time, it's a really great idea to have a guide just you'll feel safer if it is your first visit and you get to see, do, learn and experience more. Now this is our incredible guide Ish. He is from Escape to the Cape, the perfect name. And he has started our time here off in Borkarp and he's gonna tell us a little bit about it. Hi guys, my name is Ish. Uh, welcome to Borkarp, uh, translated English, Upper Cape. Uh, this is a world heritage site in the essence because this is where descendants of slavery exist. Most majority of people in the area are from Indonesia. The colorful homes you're seeing surrounding us is only an expression of joy. And of course, that is the reason because of the emancipation of slavery in 1834. On the 2nd of January every year in the streets of Cape Town, we have one of the biggest Mardi Gras, which celebrates the emancipation of slavery. And guys will be wearing colorful uniforms, painted faces, playing saxophones, trombones, all sorts of instruments, and parading down the streets of Cape Town to celebrate the emancipation of slavery. You came in snow, you pay for my life You don't switch, no, you stay by my side Help me listen and wait on your time You came in snow, you pay for my life You don't switch, no, you stay by my side Help me listen and wait on your time Yes, I'm the one that you love Grace from above Keep me by my life, you brought me out of the mud Yes, you the one Grace from above Keep me by my life I went to talk and then I just choked on nothing. Our first dinner in Cape Town is happening at the GG rooftop here at the gorgeous George Hotel. It is described as a living room for the neighborhood. Oh, here's my other piece. Yes, me. Thank you. That looks so beautiful. Thank you. It is so cozy in here. There's like a planty, bohemian kind of a hangout. They have some really cool art. The bar area is awesome. All of the seating areas are super, super cool. They have these big glass windows behind me. So I think if you came at lunchtime, you would have some awesome views. It would be all sun drenched. Now the menu here looks amazing. Honestly, we were all looking at it and no one knew what to choose. It was really tough. So we've just chosen a whole bunch of things so we can try everything. What's really special is they have a wood-fired braai, so if you aren't going to get the chance to go to a traditional braai, this is your chance to do it here. So Matt is going to try that delicious meat for us. I've got this beautiful beetroot salad, some gorgeous tartare here, a fish tartare, and big juicy oysters. So let's just jump in and try everything. It's really yummy, it has a nice sesame dressing on it. And of course, the oysters. Mm, yeah. Everything is delicious. And I remember last time we visited Cape Town, one of the things that I was really surprised by was the food. I didn't know what to expect from South African food. And I can tell you right now, it is so so good good morning my loves we are up on signal hill this morning and you can see spectacular table mountain behind me it is absolutely gorgeous now we are going to be kickstarting today by doing a very heart pumping exhilarating exciting activity and i think it's going to be the perfect way to see cape town let's go <laughs>
day. There was a moment there where they weren't sure if it was gonna happen. We got all kitted up really quickly. And then they're like, no, we can't go. The mist is there and we can't see the ground, we can't land, it's off. And they're like, it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. And then it was on and it was awesome. You get talked through everything. The guys are really professional. You run, 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 run. Next thing you know, you're airborne. It is not scary at all. It's really, really smooth and such a great way to see Cape Town. I 10 out of 10 recommend that. Now, if you do want to book, we're going to have a booking link for you below. So check that out and you, you just have to do it. It's all kinds of awesome. <laughs> Table Mountain overlooks Cape Town and Table Bay and its unique shape is the result of nearly horizontal layers of sandstone that have been layered on top of each other and then exposed by water and wind erosion. Now one thing I find really cool is it has its own cloud cover that they refer to as the tablecloth and it is easy to see by the shape of it and how beautiful it is. Just why it is one of South Africa's most recognized landmarks. Now if you are coming to Cape Town I am going to recommend that you enjoy seeing this beauty from a whole bunch of angles. So we have been up on Signal Hill this morning taking some photos and enjoying it from there but you can catch the cable car up as well and they get some spectacular views and great photographs looking over Cape Town. South Africa is famous for a couple of things including amazing wine, great beer and excellent biltong and we are going to be combining all three of those things today here in Cape Town. We are doing an awesome day tour with guys at Kif Combi Tours. We are doing their beer, wine and biltong tour and that is quite the combination. Now this is our guide for the day, our main man Jean and he is kicking things off here at Marianne. Okay so welcome to Marianne Wine Estate and one thing about them they do sell some of the best wines that we have around Cape Town with the perfect setting around so good views good wines and the best boat on Cape Town I see so I'm gonna give you guys five wines I'll start with a rosé and then a Sauvignon Blanc then I'll pay three red wines with Springbok, Kudu and beef <laughs> no pressure Will <laughs> thank you we are exploring Cape Town with some new friends and you are gonna recognize all of them I've no doubt so we'll do a quick round the table of course, Haley and Kyle, I'm sure you've seen their do. content. <laughs> if you don't already follow them, you absolutely should. They make amazing videos. They are amazing creators in general and really good people. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Sibu is hosting us here in South Africa and she's been an amazing host. She's made us feel so welcome. Barry, you would absolutely recognize from television, yes. incredible actor, singer, songwriter. And of course, Lauren and Liam. I'm no, sure no you've seen them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've seen them on Instagram. If you don't follow them, you absolutely should. And I can't think of a better group of people to be wine tasting with. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Wow, it's good, eh? It's a triple A. It's big, really. It's spring bok, kudu, and beef. So they say if you come to South Africa, you do not try Bultong with the red, with this peanut touch. I've never been to South Africa. The boys of the trip have banded together to form their own group. It's called the Biltong Boys. Was it sip, no, no, eat, no, no, sip no, no, or eat, sip, eat? Sip, hey, look. Eat, sip. I don't tell you how to eat broccoli. You don't tell me how to eat Biltong. <laughs> so sip, sip, eat, sip? Yeah. That's what the pairing does. Good. Um, the Boltong puts a different taste in your mouth. Yeah. When you taste the wine, it tastes completely different mm. as well. How is it? Mmm. Mm. You feeling it? Mm. Feeling it. And then... Mm. Oh my god. Outstanding. So we call this wine the Mandela wine because our first vintage, the Florial 2004, was selected by Gordon Ramsay on Nelson Mandela's 90th birthday at Buckingham Palace. That smells Beautiful. Yeah, Real so fruity. Good. It smells really fruity. Yeah. Yum, that smells amazing. I mean, there's one thing if me and you know, it's our yeah, wands. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What's going to happen to us today? I'm scared. <laughs> 
Just Our there. next stop is Soul Barrel yeah. Brewing, and we're gonna get stuck into some delicious beers. Now, that lovely gentleman just told us what this was, and I can't remember. So, remember what he said this was? Yeah, it's an uh, Tyler. It's a I can't believe you've recalled that. It's a pale ale, so let's try it. Uh-oh. It's a pale star. Is it a pale star? <laughs> 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 Don't trust Kyle. Don't trust Kyle. And some proper South African guru voice. It's time for lunch and not a moment too soon. Things are getting out of control. <laughs> but the guys at Give Comedy know exactly what they're doing. So if you're on the tour, you can come here and you can have this beautiful lunch. And it's a great way to experience a braai if you don't have South African friends here already. It's time you leave, you will anyway. But having a first braai. And I'm having budovos. Mm -hmm. Baz? Mm -hmm. Yeah, budovos. Which is like a South African sausage. sausage. Yeah. And apparently I'm going to love it, according to Baz. So, a bit of relish on top. Right. It's really good. Right. And the relish is really good. The relish is so good. That is real good. We did a wine stop, we did a beer stop, and now in a move that is completely lethal, we've gone back to wine. Who <laughs> lives like this? Now I am 100% going to say this wrong. We are at the... Look, the Australian enemy wants to say it's the Rem Hooty wine estate. It's not. It's something like Rem... Hooti, something like that. <laughs> it is really beautiful here. It's so scenic. We have all the mountains in the background. Um, really beautiful, wide open spaces, and they have tons of animals here. It is absolutely gorgeous, and the wine here is fantastic as well. It is our last stop. We are at the Stellenbosch Brewing Company. Things are a little bit festive. Everyone's feeling pretty happy, and we've arrived late, and they have five. To ten is, minutes to drink all of these beers. Oh my god! Oh, it's gone. For accommodation here in Cape Town, we are staying at the Kloof Street Hotel. This place is modern, vibrant, youthful, and centrally located. The rooms are really comfortable with everything you could need for your stay. But my favorite thing, these spectacular views over Table Mountain. It has been a big day now. As you guys know, I don't drink, so I'm stone cold sober. Everybody else is rolling into the restaurant behind me red hot. So this is going to be an experience. Now for dinner we have come to a place called Beyond and as I am led to believe, the food here is going to be something pretty special. It wasn't even funny and every single thing that came out was so incredibly delicious it was so beautifully put together and a really great dining experience so if you are the kind of person that loves to go to a country and experience something that's fine dining something a little bit special the kind of meal you will carry around with you for a very long time to come beyond is the place you want to visit it was absolutely delicious <laughs> Tour with the guys at Cape Sidecar Adventures. Now this is Brody and he is going to be coming along with us today. He is famous and I am starstruck. He is absolutely gorgeous, wears little goggles, looks super cool. And we're going to be exploring all of the coastline and this is a fantastic way to see Cape Town and I don't know, just have a unique adventure. <laughs> Right, 
Right, uh, this is Hart Bay. We have the Sentinel and that mountain range, which actually, if you look carefully, is in the shape of a rhinoceros. We've left Cape Town and we've stopped Camps Bay. That's where we stopped for picks. And now we've carried along the coast. Lundadna, we went through Hart Bay. We're now at the lookout point just before we carry on over Chapman to Peak Drive and then off to Penguins over. Boulder's Beach is home to a gorgeous colony of African penguins and they are well worth visiting. Now the first African penguins actually arrived here in the 1980s and since then that colony has grown between two to three thousand penguins and they are so sweet. Now when you visit there are all these boardwalks that you can walk down and just make sure that you are sticking to the boardwalks. Don't lean over, don't touch them, don't jump over, don't interact with them, don't feed with them. Just come here and enjoy how beautiful they are and there is an entry fee up the top as well so just keep that in mind our guides have helped us get here today but if you did want to come by yourself I suppose you could hire a car or get some kind of transport to bring you out here and I would highly recommend it especially on the sunny day because they are absolutely gorgeous hello from Johannesburg yes Johannesburg <laughs> while we're in Cape Town us and everyone we were traveling with picked up a stomach bug and it has been a nasty couple of days I won't go into detail it was gross <laughs> but that's what happens when you travel sometimes um, you just get stuff like that when I spoke to the doctors and the nurses they just said hey look it's been going around everywhere not just South Africa it's been like a bit of a global thing so happens not ideal but we're getting on with it we're feeling much better and now we are in Johannesburg but before we move on to our Johannesburg episode I want to wrap up our Cape Town one and one last thing I wanted to talk to you about is safety. Now this has been our second visit to Cape Town and I know our first time we were terrified. We were honestly so scared to go and you should go back and watch that episode because it's great to see it from a first timer's perspective. This time we knew what to expect and we were a lot more relaxed. So all I can do is share with you our experience and it has been a positive one both times. Both times we have had a guide. I strongly recommend you have a guide. In fact, please don't go if you don't have one. They're just gonna help you feel safe. They're gonna tell you where you can and can't go and you're just gonna have a whole lot more security. And not only that, but you're gonna get a well of information from a guide which is going to help you enjoy Cape Town a whole lot more. Always keep your belongings close and on you. Don't go out dripping all icy with a whole bunch of jewelry on. Don't go walking off down Long Street or anywhere by yourself at night. Just that kind of common sense approach to travel and if you're like us you should have a positive experience. That's all I can do is share ours and it has been great both times. We love Cape Town and we will be back again. And with that, you guys, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead and I will see you with a brand new episode all about Joburg next week. Love ya.